So let's begin this practice of softening, soothing and allowing, as well as rejoicing and appreciating by just seeing what posture is most comfortable for the body at this time. Taking all the time we may need to readjust so that the body can gravitate towards a posture that is a container for our practice that creates the conditions for, for our intentions. So let's become curious about what those intentions may be. And maybe to meet ourselves both with care as well as with a sense of appreciation and as always bringing curiosity and openness to whatever may unfold in the practice in our experience and seeing what's alive for you this evening what's your intention and opening to the motivation that may be present for you A sense of energy that is behind our intentions. A sense of why it's important. Noticing how the motivation might feel in the body. Felt sense of it. And how meeting ourselves with compassion brings both benefits to our own being, to our own life, but also to others, the lives of others around us. That can be an important part of our motivation, just seeing how it is for you at this time. From here, let's shift our attention now to the living breath in the body, if that's a comfortable place for you to let your attention rest. And bringing fresh curiosity to the movements that may happen around the breath. The different parts of the body where you can experience the rising and the falling of the in and out breath. And you may want to invite the breath to deepen a little. slowing down as well as an equalizing of the in and the out breath maybe through counting to three or four or five on the in breath 
Do the same count of on the out breath. Giving our mind something tangible, simple in this moment to be present with. Noticing how the in-breath may invite a lifting, an opening sense in the body. Maybe a lengthening of the spine. And the out-breath inviting more of a softening. Releasing, letting go. And perhaps shifting our attention so that it's resting a little bit more with the out breath. Just noticing breath by breath what's happening in the body as the breath is released. And perhaps gradually landing a little bit more here in this body, in this moment. Body and mind beginning to settle. And from here, we could begin to widen our awareness so that the whole body is included. And allowing the breath to find its natural rhythm. No need for any further regulating. And perhaps making a little journey through the body with your attention, starting at the head and in your own time from one part to the other all the way down to the feet bringing this warm interest this curious noticing to what sensations are present in the different parts of the body what can we become aware of Now we may encounter the full range of sensations, some very strong, others much more subtle, or maybe there are areas where 
There's no particular sensations present. Some experiences we may find pleasant. Sensations that are comfortable, parts of the body that feel at ease. And other parts may feel more neutral, more in the background perhaps. As well as some discomfort, some tension or pain you may encounter. Seeing if we can allow the full range of our experience to be present as best we can. But also let's allow ourselves to really respond with care and with kindness to the parts where there's challenge, where there's difficulty. So very often we tighten a little around them. We kind of brace ourselves against sensations that feel uncomfortable. And seeing if we can notice that and instead invite ourselves to soften around the discomfort. Maybe just imagining that happening or saying gently to ourselves, soften. Soften and with no expectations, just noticing what happens. Making space for what's here, softening around it. And we could soothe ourselves for feeling this way. Maybe with a kind gesture, like a hand on the heart or another part of the body. Some gesture that communicates a sense of caring for what's here, caring for our own experience. A bit like you might apply heat to sore muscles. Maybe there are soothing words that you could say to yourself. You could imagine a friend saying to you in this context, perhaps simply the word soothe. Soothe. Softening and soothing. And the soothing is not to make what is here go away, but simply responding, simply expressing our care. So as best we can, allowing what's here to be, both the sensations and any feelings that might arise in relation to what you're noticing And including any sense of resistance, any, any not wanting to experience this. All of our experience allowing, making space, softening, soothing, and allowing, moment by moment. No expectations, nothing that should be happening and no way we can get it wrong. And 
we may want to continue being present with discomfort or with areas that are in need of this care for as long as feels right. And also perhaps at some point you may want to widen your awareness again. Not pushing anything away, but just including these sensations amongst the multitudes of sensations that are happening in each moment. Sense of the body resting. The contact between the hands resting in the lap, perhaps. Any parts of the body that are in contact with what's underneath you. The sense of the steady presence of a large body of the earth underneath us. Offering an unconditional welcome. A place to truly come to rest, both in body but also in mind. Knowing that there's nothing that we need to do right now. Nothing we need to improve on or fix, accomplish in some way. We're here already. So just a sense of resting in the midst of all that's present. Just as it is. Sometimes we may be resting for quite a while, and other times before we know it, the mind gets engaged again with the, the stories of past or future, or thinking in the present, elaborating on what is or isn't happening, and all that's completely okay. Again, nothing that's supposed to happen. Nothing gone wrong if we get entangled in the world of thinking. Perhaps we can offer ourselves a support, something to be present within this present moment, like the sounds that are happening around us. Just expanding our awareness to receive the whole symphony of each moment. If you prefer, feel very free to let your attention rest with the natural breath or with the body. And this light anchor into the present moment, as well as a lot of space for all that's happening in 
our experience to continue to come and go in its own way. Resting with the support. And if you like, feel very free to continue just resting with what's here for the rest of the practice. Coming back again and again to grounding in the body and resting with the support every time you notice you've drifted off. Or if you'd like to, you may want to join me in appreciating what's here. This 10 finger gratitude practice, which doesn't in any way deny any of the struggles that might be present for us at this time. They are what they are. I can allow them to be present. But alongside this, let's see what else is there. So you may want to hold one finger of the one hand with with your other hand and invite to come to mind something that you appreciate something you're grateful for it can be a big thing it can be a small so-called small thing it can be a person or a place just seeing what comes to mind what are you appreciative of what are you grateful for what would you really miss if it wasn't there in your life i'm just letting your attention land on something like this it doesn't have to be the biggest or the most important one just anything that comes to mind and taking our time to really notice this goodness giving it our full attention for a little while and letting it come to life in our mind. Focusing on different details of this, this good topic. And in this way, lingering with it. Letting this be the support for our attention now and really relishing it imagining it soaking into our being drinking it in And after a while, switching to the next finger and seeing what else may come to mind. What else is good? What else do you appreciate? It can be something quite neutral too. There's goodness in neutrality. 
Noticing how it feels in the body to linger with this, to relish it. And in your own time, switching to the third topic, feel free to either actually move with your hand to the third finger or imagining this or just having a sense of something else that's good in your experience. So no rush at all to get to 10. Much more important to really pause and, and stay with each of these good things as they arise in your mind, feeling them in the body, drinking them in. And of course, the mind may do its habitual thing of starting off with something you appreciate. And then before you know it, the attention is going to something that you're missing or that you're lacking in some way or that you've lost. And again, we could just acknowledge that as we always acknowledge when the mind is wandered from its support. And then redirecting our attention back for this practice to what's good and what's well. Not denying or suppressing, but just redirecting of attention to all these simple good things in life. Colors of the autumn, perhaps. or the wideness of the night sky, just seeing what arises for you. Continuing to stay curious about what's happening in the body as we linger and relish these good things. Perhaps including an appreciating of ourself or of different qualities that have grown in our own being, things we've made happen.
appreciating perhaps our, our inclination for practice and what it brings to our own life and to the lives of others. And then whether you've got to 10 or maybe not yet, or maybe you've gone beyond, let's, let's redirect our attention now again to just resting in this moment. So letting go of the appreciating practice and simply noticing again the sounds around us. The movements of the breath and the body. Coming and going of thoughts and feelings, sensations. Just resting with what's here in this moment. And as we're bringing this practice to a close, let's direct our attention to each other here in this virtual space. You may want to open your eyes and just get a sense of the other beings you're practicing with. Maybe a sharing of the benefits of our practice with each other here. Wishing all these precious humans well. Wishing each other steadiness as we surf the waves. And including in the wish that the goodness of the practice will continue to grow in our own being. And at the same time that it ripples out and is shared with others. Others near and far. Ones that we know intimately well, as well as others who we've never crossed path, paths with, but who are sharing this precious planet with us. May the goodness of our practice radiate out like the sun rippling in all directions. Ding!